Hello everyone. This game is Mist Survival, which is a single player survival game developed by a single guy. It's in its early stages and uh, the multiplayer elements and the other stuff will most probably come later. But even as it is right now, it's a pretty interesting game to play. So the game itself is pretty tricky to start and get going. So I just thought to make a guide on it. Uh, basically you will be spawned in one of the spawn points in the map uh, there are like a uh, couple of in the map and all you have is this uh, basic guide in-game guide uh, with you which covers all your basic stuff so the rest you will have to figure yourself along the way so in the basic survival section you have fatigue and stamina basically you need the uh, stamina to uh, make sure you are strength enough to do stuff that means cut down the trees and running and stuff like that so the fatigue bar needs to be in the safe levels so the stamina uh, regeneration rate will slow down when your fatigue value is low rest and sleep uh, that is the only way you can uh, uh, restore the fatigue levels to a maximum so you can press 7 to sleep on the ground and the second one is shelter management basically uh, you can have a shelter for you and your crew and you can build stuff there and we'll talk about that in a later guide and the mist event this is pretty important the basic the ba main part of the game actually uh, whenever the when you walk during the day the mist will appear sometimes so when the mist comes then the comes then comes the the infected or the zombies as you call it so the zombies can be quite uh, dangerous uh, because uh, they are like uh, run pretty fast and they'll approach you like uh, in a light speed so the only way to avoid zombies is to that you can go inside a hut or a cabin and a house uh, like that or else uh, height can be your advantage as well you can climb on top of a truck or a water tower to avoid zombies because uh, in this stage you cannot fight them and uh, as you can hear in the background there are some bird sounds so when the mist the mist comes the bird will stop singing and then the some kind of uh, gloomy mis music will play so then you will know that the mist is arriving and the zombies are coming the next one is a bow and arrow uh, this is a main weapon in the game uh, there are like uh, shotguns and pistols and stuff like that as well but uh, this is one of the main main uh, uh, weapon you will have in the game so we'll craft it later and the ore types so the goal i'm not too sure it's in the game or not because uh, right now some parts are not yet fully developed but the other stuff is there so you can you need this stuff to craft some items and there is one guide about crafting as well how to get brass so we'll talk about that later as well so a couple of key stuff that you need to remember is uh, some of the keys the tab key shows you the like uh, basic details about yourself health hunger thirst and fatigue and stamina and call call is uh, not yet implemented so you need you don't need to worry about that right now and you press the i it will give you the uh, basic craft section so you can go to separate sections like this and there are a lot of uh, crafting options like this as you can see so powders and dog tags and chicken feet and stuff like that so this is the basic craft bar and when you press B you will get another crafting section like this so there are two separate sections so keep notes on that water barrel generator attached pin uh, water purifier so you will need them along the way to uh, purify water and get some food and all that and make sure that uh, some of these items have some subsections as well like this you can uh, click on to view uh, more detailed section about that and the crafting materials and uh, what items are need to craft that particular it uh, item Another thing you need to keep in mind that uh, about the time, uh, if you press tab key, 
uh, on the left hand side uh, it will show you the current in game time so right now it's nine o'clock in the morning so it's pretty safe to go outside uh, at this time if you unless you don't have a smoke the the mist in the uh, area uh, if there is mist obviously there are zombies uh, i would say that uh, from five o'clock in the morning uh, until uh, eight o'clock in the evening it's safe to walk outside unless you have uh, mist so after eight o'clock in the evening uh, the zombies will come outside uh, you can easily uh, like identify that using the sound cues so right now you can hear multiple birds are singing in the background so it's pretty safe to uh, like walk and do stuff but after eight o'clock you will uh, notice that the uh, birds singing will go fade away and then some kind of uh, gloomy environment music comes in so that's when the uh, zombies jump in so here i'm showing you the mist event uh, as you can hear the background music differs and there are multiple zombies lurking around so the best way of action would be to go inside a safe place a hut or something a cabin then stay there until the mist goes away one other important thing is to manage the inventory right now i picked up this bag and uh, that is gonna upgrade your inventory by two slots so it is pretty small in the beginning you just have to keep on collecting the bags to in order to like grow your inventory like this so after you spawn and collect your first items then walk along a pathway or a road because the thing is uh, the uh, the in game there is no map you have to remember uh, landmarks and stuff to uh, not to get lost so it's better to uh, work along a pathway and uh, remember the buildings and stuff that you meet along the way so that way you do not get lost in the woods walk along the way and if you find small cabins and uh, small huts like with open doors just don't go inside because there may be uh, zombies in it so as you can see there were some zombies in this uh, building warehouse so right now it is safe because the sun, sun is shining so they can't come outside so so make sure you don't uh, rush into the building and just uh, walk along the outside and uh, just to be sure that there are no uh, danger inside so regarding the items that you must pick and items that you don't need that much the crafting components and uh, metal scraps plays a major role so whenever you find them just pick them up just drop the uh, sticks i have some sticks in my inventory right now that is bad i can just uh, drop them so make sure you uh, grab that uh, metal uh, parts and the crafting components and as you've seen you can open the uh, bonnet and the boot and the doors like this in a car i mean uh, the where the windows are uh, transparent that that is the only car you can open the doors like this the other the tinted windows cars you cannot open so don't bother uh, and open it and uh, make sure uh, to grab any important stuff from there the other thing is that if you open a bonnet and find some important car parts just grab it and here i have some uh, spare fuel left so i'm using my spare can to fuel it up uh, like uh, get some fuel on on that then i can uh, use it on a, on my car but as i showed you earlier in the start you will have only a limited amount of inventory space uh, which you can upgrade by collecting backpacks so you need to make sure you only collect what you require so basically avoid picking up stuff like uh, stones and sticks because they are quite common you can find it anywhere and one another important thing you need to remember is uh, if you die in the game then some of your loot might will be lost when you uh, revived so if you die don't go to the revive option just go back and uh, reload your save again and if you get uh, bleeding damage if you sure you will die then then you can do is you can uh, drop all your loot on the ground where you can uh, remember then uh, revive and you will be on your base and then you can come back and pick them later so that way you don't uh, lose your valuable stuff so eventually you will uh, run out of uh, storage space so then what 
I propose you to do is to uh, find a small hut like this and uh, drop you all your items there so then you can come back and find the same place and uh, grab the items again once you find a permanent, to pl permanent place to stay you will find a couple of houses and cabins uh, when you walk along the way and uh, it will be tempting to create your first base there I would say just uh, not to worry about that in this phase just make sure you focusing on uh, grabbing everything you can and then we'll focus on the building base this is another example it looks like a solid house uh, you can uh, live in but when you look uh, when you go close, closer you might hear that uh, zombies uh, live inside so unless you get rid of them you can't uh, make that your base uh, there's a zombie right there uh, you might have valuable items in here but uh, just don't worry in this phase because uh, you will find necessary components crafting components to uh, craft some weapons and you will come back to this place to clear it out and uh, grab everything then when you work along the way you may or may not find a gas station and a motel like this uh, where there you can find a couple of interesting items uh, along with an uh, uh, crafting table so that will be pretty important to the game in, or in order to survive uh, as I said earlier just don't, don't worry about crafting right now because what you need is uh, crafting materials, uh, metal straps and food items and water so those four are the uh, basic ingredients and grab whatever you can and put them in a safe place so if you find this motel uh, get a room there and uh, load your stuff so that you can find it easily again after you build up your first base one other thing is that uh, there are a couple of bears in the uh, woods so in fact uh, there's one guy one bear in, in uh, near the shed as well uh, just make sure you run away from them because right now you cannot fight them uh, and they can spot you miles away so uh, be aware of that another tip is that you can move this crafting table if you press E it will go to the crafting menu and if you press M like this then you can move the crafting table so you can press uh, Q and R to rotate it and then place somewhere safely I just uh, grab this uh, crafting table all the way from the gas station to here so here is the model that I talked about earlier there are uh, multiple rooms in it and you can uh, just go to inside the room and then open the lockers and covers and everything and grab everything uh, you need uh, just be aware that uh, in one of the rooms there are a couple of zombies uh, you just don't have enough uh, things to fight them right now as I said earlier so just don't bother and the other thing to keep in mind is that there are bandits in, the, in this game they have uh, multiple camps throughout the maps so here I'm just having fun with one of the camps so as you can see you can get pretty closer to them without them spotting you so there are at least uh, two three people in here so if I get closer like this you will have an eye icon on top of the head of them so yeah just like that uh, if the eye is popping up they can see you I'm running away from the into the uh, wild now so they will chasing me and uh, they don't come far so you are safe just uh, run into the woods and uh, just look back and uh, you, you can be sure of that they are going back into the their base so there was one right in front of me but he didn't see me luckily so just avoid them at this stage and uh, just go looting stuff you might run into some uh, crafting places like this as well so uh, here is the forge you can craft a couple of items there including uh, gear and metal scraps and components as well uh, and you can craft axes knives and stuff like that uh, this is pretty important but uh, at this moment you don't have any uh, crafting materials that would be enough to craft anything so just keep a note of uh, where you find this uh, forge, and forge 
the other place is uh, item uh, melting place you can uh, melt stuff to get ore and uh, then that you can use to craft some other items as well just don't worry about that this stage and uh, but uh, keep uh, a note about uh, where you find these uh, places the crafting places then you can visit them in a later stage I forgot to mention one other thing about cars so if a car has a driving logo on top of it that means you can uh, make it to drivable so in here I can get into the car seat and then I can drive the car but this one doesn't have any wheels on it and if I open the bonnet it doesn't have any engine or the fuel or the uh, car parts so you, you need to find them all to make it to uh, make a runnable car so after running around a couple of in-game days I have finally found a place to make my base I think this is a great house because uh, it, does, it does have a uh, upstairs uh, in it and it has a garage house as well and it has a water tank uh, you can get on top of it and get a good view and uh, if the zombies come out uh, you can use that place to sleep as well uh, let me just give you a quick tour here you have the kitchen and I already started to making some stuff there so you have a lot of compartments to uh, store your item and if I go to the next room uh, here I have some lockers with the stuff that I collected and I finally found an engine as well and if I go to the upstairs it does have a couple of rooms like this and pretty space enough for me and couple of guys, other guys as well I started to build a bed, small one It's a pretty good house except for these uh, small windows like this. This can be breakable. Zombies uh, come out in the midnight and they are sometimes breaking this stuff. So there are like permanent, permanent fixes for this. So which I will explain in my next video. Let me quickly go uh, walk you into the garage room as well. In here you have a lot of space I wish you can park a car as well inside and here I have started uh, crafting some stuff uh, water barrel and water purifier and the cooking pot and just make sure when you go out just uh, close it because otherwise uh, if the mist comes zombies uh, will go inside and they will stay like that so make sure you close everything uh, before you leave your home so that's it basically guys so this is pretty much i wanted to show you in the in my first video i will uh, prepare another video regarding uh, crafting and how to get water and how to get meat and uh, how to kill bear and get meat and uh, how to kill the bandits and uh, go more raiding stuff and how to find true to your uh, house and then uh, how to repair your car and uh, make it to a runnable state so i hope this video is uh, helpful for you so please make sure to subscribe to get the notification for next video thanks for watching mm -hmm.